Joseph YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman wants to know what is going on with young men, specifically young white males. She says they are failing. No more wasting time. Let's check it out. Someone answered this question. What is going on with emerging adult white males between the ages of, say, 18 and 25 to 30? I ask you this because most of the clients that come to me have young adult white males between 18 and, say, 30, and they are sleeping all day, gaming all night, hiding from their parents, hiding from the world, smoking a lot of weed. They don't want to grow up. And I don't want to use inflammatory language, but I have seen so much of this in the last 18 months that I would say this is an epidemic. And I don't think it's just one thing. I think it's a complex issue. I think it has to do with the attraction of gaming and the escape of that. I think it has to do with losing faith in the world and the way it's going at the moment. And I think in some ways we all hit that 20s and we're like disillusioned with the fact that we have to grow up and like kick it into gear and take responsibility for ourselves and maybe we don't want to do that but why is it so much more difficult these days for this generation it's interesting to hear a woman ask that question at this point because as far as we know this has been a thing and just the fact that she's just now realizing this points to how much society really does not care about men's issues. Today's society, especially. Let's listen to what the response was. What is going on with emerging adult white males between the ages of, say, 18 and... Yeah, I can tell you what's going on. <clears throat> I can tell you exactly what's going on. I'm a therapist and I work directly with this demo demographic. I have multiple clients that are in this demographic and are struggling exactly with some of the issues that are being described here. Uh, this lady, I think, appears to be a parenting coach of some kind. And she's expressing that in the last 18 months or so, she has seen young men, young white men in this demographic who are failing to adjust into adulthood and who are uh, just kind of failing in life in general, have lost their way, they feel lost, uh, etc. And according to her, she feels like she's been seeing it for the last 18 months or so. And at the risk of sounding harsh, where have you been? You're just barely now noticing this. Believe me, it's been going on a lot longer than 18 months. Hmm. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is most people aren't really noticing because they just frankly don't really give a damn about this demographic or this group. Hmm. Uh, the epidemic of them not making uh, a successful transition into adulthood isn't nearly as bad. I mean, nearly as bad as the rates of them unaliving themselves. Uh, we have had an epidemic of male unaliving for years and years and years. And it's been going on for years and years and years. And you never hear about it. It's never talked about because, again, nobody gives a crap. These statistics are especially particularly alarming when we look at the rates of uh, military veterans here in the United States that unalive themselves. Now, most of these veterans are male. And uh, just looking at a statistic here, um, from certain uh, years, it says that 20 veterans die every single day. Every day. Because Wow. They unalive themselves. That's a statistic that doesn't seem real, but it is. That is a real statistic. This is the real epidemic. But again, because it's men, nobody cares. So what is going on with them? I'm going to answer the question because I know I know exactly what's going on with them. It's complicated. There's a lot to it. <clears throat> but basically, this demographic is treated with contempt. Mm. They've grown up in an environment and in a climate where they are told that they are unwanted unneeded, that they are useless, worthless, and unloved. They grow up in this climate, and they have become accustomed to it. I've worked with teenagers for more than 20 years now, and I learned early on 
that if you tell a kid that they are worthless and useless and that they're a bad person, they're going to live up to them. But if you tell them that they're good and that you believe in them and that they're going to overcome things, they will believe you. They've also grown up in an environment where they're criticized constantly from every angle. No matter what they do, literally, uh, they can't do anything. They can't even wear backpacks. Mm. They can't wear certain shoes without somebody criticizing them. They're surrounded and bombarded by constant and endless criticism. Criticism is really destructive, by the way. That deserves a whole other video. But criticism is really destructive. And if you grow up... Um, in, in an environment, in a climate where you cannot do anything without absorbing some kind of criticism because you're surrounded by adults who feel like it's their job to straighten you out, you are going to become afraid to do anything. They're terrified to fail because they've learned it's painful. If they try something for the first time and they don't do it correctly, guaranteed there's somebody always there to tell them how much they suck. And I cannot possibly count the number of times I've heard from boys that they get completely differential treatment at school than the girls do. The girls, they get a cakewalk in school. The boys are treated with zero tolerance policies. And they, they live in a world where everybody else's struggle is treated and viewed as though it is an honorable struggle when theirs is not that they are treated with contempt and hatred when they're struggling, whereas other, other people in other demographics, particularly women, are treated as though it's, it's honorable and virtuous. This makes so much sense. This makes so much sense. Getting on this platform and having a channel that's focused to dealing with issues men go through in today's very, very confusing and difficult, challenging, cutthroat dating market is already controversial in itself. The truth is, there aren't many platforms where you can speak comfortably about these situations. But just talking about adversity that men go through, whether it's a guy who's dealing with like a bad divorce, you know, the stuff we talk about here, cheating girlfriend, these things happen. You are labeled as pathetic and like you're not adding any value to society because you're dealing with specifically just men's issues. This platform is for mainly uh, men overall. Now, I do understand they're talking about white males in specific here. But as we know, at this point, all young men are affected by the negativity and just how much masculinity is oppressed in our society. Let's keep watching. When they see their female counterparts struggling and they see their female counterparts get a whole bunch of you go girl, and when they struggle, they get a get your shit together. I mean, constantly for years and years and years, they get this and it just shuts them down. Frankly, they don't have a, a hope for a positive future. They see the world as harsh and unforgiving because quite frankly, as a child and as a teenager, that's exactly how it was. It was unforgiving and harsh and they just don't want to try anymore. They just, they, they just don't want to try anymore. And I'm going to be really honest here for a second, okay? So trigger warning, honesty. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't understand how someone can work with other humans, right? And be in the, in the business of helping humans and not see a world where boys are told that they're worthless, that they're unloved, unneeded, and unwanted, on, on a near constant basis, and then wonder why they're struggling. With all due respect, to me, that just sounds like being willfully ignorant, willfully mm. blind. Go check him out. His TikTok handle is S-C-O-T-T -T for Scott and C-A-R-T-E-R -E Carter M-H-P. Scott Carter M-H-P. I'll have him pinned to the top of the comment section as well. Yeah. Real shit. Let's check out some of these comments. First comment here says, young people are also looking around and seeing that hard work and virtue no longer pay off. There's just no hope left anymore and for valid reasons. I think it used to be that you're a young man, you work hard, you get a job, you find a nice girl, she respects you for what you do, has realistic expectations for what you bring to the table. 
She's also pleasant and not a raging feminist who has unrealistic expectations for the average male because she is also average. And then you go ahead and do life. You go out and face what the world has in store. But men today are definitely aware that they are labeled as a problem in society. Then masculinity is labeled as toxic. Being competitive as a man is labeled as toxic. Being a straight male is labeled as toxic. Being disagreeable and wanting to be successful is labeled as toxic. And so men really have to take things into their own hands. They really have to make sure that the messaging they're, they're getting. It's tough when you're young. It's tough if you have some crazy parents. But if you're able to, you got you to gotta do what you can as a man to keep your mind strong. Sure, getting a well-paying job may take time. Sure, getting that family, if you want one, may take time. Protect your mind from messaging that devalues you as a man. And then do the things that keep you healthy. You can control the simple things like working out, taking care of yourself, eating better, getting out in nature, etc. A child that isn't embraced by the village will burn the village down. Mm. Staring at everything that didn't love him back. And he will ease his way into the fire until he finally feels some warmth. Mercy. That's dark. Another comment here says, I look at our society and see little opportunity for success. Life shouldn't be this hard. If there are no fruits of my labor, why bother? Another person here says, thank you, single mothers. Here's somebody else who says, as a, there's a single mothers catching uh, a stray in the conversation. Here's somebody else who says, as a girl mom, I've noticed girls are raised to be independent while boys are just getting to be kids. I mean, what do you expect? What we see around us, guys, is a female-based society that uplifts women over the men. This is the result. And what's crazy about this is when the young men aren't taken care of, when they aren't given a purpose to wake up in the morning, when they don't feel like they're being listened to, everybody loses. You have videos on TikTok of, of feminists talking about why do we even need men? Eventually, society will find out. Why do we need men? I think we are realizing right now why strong men are important. Here's somebody else who says, told that everything about our nature is wrong. That has almost a thousand likes. Told that everything about our nature is wrong. Soul crushing. Either lash out or die, this commenter says. Here's somebody else who added, on top of that, there's not a place for us in Adulthood, I'm 28, make 80K, and need to live with four roommates just to get by. Another comment here says, the world is harsh and unforgiving towards everyone, not just men. Somebody else here responded back to that comment and said, did you watch the video? And somebody else here says, facts, in response to that comment. Men have it the easiest in life. Of course, here come the trolls. And another comment here says, haha, men have it the easiest? That has to be bait. Here's somebody else who added, I really love this. I am 27 and feel like I am an outcast. I try to get promoted at every job only to be told I'm not ready. Then a female that worked there for six months gets promoted. Here's another man that says, black male youth have felt this for generations with surprised eyes. I'd agree with that statement, by the way. Goes on to say my life goal, Get a cheap car I like. After that, no idea. Questioning if I can even achieve that dream. The final comment here says, America is gynocentric. Listen guys, I'm very curious to know what you thought of this video. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.